Hey guys, I'm just coming on um, as a continuation from my last video with the earring haul. Um, what you didn't see and what was at the end of that, which I had to edit because of time, was um, some little things which I addressed. But I intended to put out another video, but somehow I deleted them like forever because I had to clean up my C drive. Anyway, um, what I was saying at the tail end of that video was a lot of people have been asking me whatever I've been doing to my hair. I haven't been doing much to the braid because it's really not time for me to wash it yet. I'm going to see how long I can hold out for washing because I, um, I really don't want to wash it unless it's necessary. Um, and typically what I do with that is just pretty much shampoo my scalp, let the water run through, and that's about it, and let it air dry. Um, what I've been doing so far, and I've done it for a couple of days, is pretty much spray my hair with this. The Isha Plus Natural Collection Braids, Locks, and Twist Sheen Spray. I really love this. It smells nice. Um, it's not greasy, but it gives a sheen. Um, I suppose you could use something like this, which I have almost a full bottle of, but I'm not really crazy about this um, organic fruit stimulator olive oil nourishing sheen spray. I find it very greasy, and even spraying it on my hair in the washroom, it tends to leave like some slip on the floor, which is quite dangerous. I just haven't gotten rid of it, and I've actually had this since my relaxer days. So. Hopefully I can give it away. I tried to give it to my niece. I don't know. She doesn't want it. So anyway, the next thing I'm going to address on here, which I did in the tail end. I'm just so sorry I didn't. I was so careless to have um, deleted that. Permanently deleted it. Um, I want to thank you guys for your feedback on my two-year anniversary. I thoroughly enjoyed putting it together. You all saw me dancing on there. Yeah, that's a side of me that you might not know. I am a very fun-loving person. I'm not uptight. <laughs> so um, that was just, the dancing was just something that I felt comfortable doing because you guys make me feel as if you are family. So um, I'm glad I was able to entertain and show you um, a bit of my journey, which I was so happy to do. I'm kind of glad I didn't do it last year because I think this year it's more meaningful to me as far as going the extra mile of two years. And I am going to stick to this uh, natural hair thing because I just think it's the best way of life for me. Okay guys, I mentioned also in that video that I am responding to a question from a subscriber of mine who wanted to know um, what to expect from home-based braiders because she hadn't ever been to one before. She's biracial and um, she's never really had that experience so she wanted to like me to weigh in on it and I honestly gave her my opinions and um, you know, I encouraged her at the same time I just told her what to look out for. But um, in saying so, I have posted a video on a rant I did regarding home-based braiders and professionalism, and that's on my Facebook page, y'all. You need to go over to Facebook, because that's where I post things like on a whim, and these, you know, doing YouTube videos take time and it's quicker for me to post certain things there. So there, I encourage you guys to go and see what's going on because I'll post a lot of stuff um, on there. Also, um, before I ramble on about posting stuff um, pertaining to what I just said regarding my subscriber, she, um, I've actually posted a discussion topic there regarding that same thing about um, what ex people's expectations are about getting their hair done at home-based hair dressers, okay? So I would really appreciate it if you guys would go over, those who haven't gone over and liked, over there. And we've been having some really engaging and great discussions. And I really love that because I know um, it really gives me a sense of who who, who are the people on my channel and really what they think about certain things. It's there on my Facebook that you can get like 
help from everyone regarding products, styling and all of that stuff. So please go over and check that out. I've reposted that video. Maybe you all remember that video. I was ranting about <laughs> the stuff and you all found it so funny. Anyway, so on here I'm going to attach um, remnants of a video of the same tail end of that video which I did regarding um, Facebook and so on. So basically what, what I've explained now will kind of explain what I'm saying there. So it will be coming on kind of attached to this. So anyway guys, I thank you so much for supporting me, for being so receptive to my two year anniversary video. Yes guys, I had to come on and really tell you guys how much I really appreciate your feedback on my um, anniversary video. Um, there were so many comments. I think there were like over 100 comments on that. I responded to some and some I, I just couldn't. But I just want to take this moment to really send out an individual thank you to everyone that commented and were so sweet and 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 nice and saying really nice things um i really love the camadre here on youtube and this is particularly important to me because i don't want to be one of those channels that <laughs> you know go off and rant about all kinds of things that's not what this this is all about love and loving your hair um, and be nurturing on my channel. I don't know about anybody else's, but that's what I encourage. I just encourage all kinds of discussions respectfully. And yeah, um, I just want to say I appreciate having you guys, um, having my back pretty much and being supportive. You know, it's funny that I have not really gotten any mean comments. I've gotten a couple, but those are things that I've pretty much dealt with behind the scene and um taking care of them myself my way okay so um but generally it's really nothing to even speak of so i just don't want to portray an image of um contention and conflict and things like that do happen anyway but at the same time i'm just not gonna um subscribe to that kind of thing here and i'm just grateful to have the kind of subscribers that i have because, I mean, you guys are genuine and I really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm rambling y'all. So, yeah, I'm going to attach the other part to the video. So, hopefully it's not going to be confusing. Go over to the Facebook people and check it out. Um, and go like. Thumbs up for Spinter24. And, of course, I'll put, attach the, um, what you call it, the link down below. Because some people still are having issues with the which is getting on there so yeah anyway guys i am going to bed right now okay take care bye hey guys i am coming on here i hope i'm not being redundant but i just posted that video up on my facebook page um y'all should go over and see it when it was on youtube everybody found that thought it was so hilarious um the ranting that is so Go over, guys. Check it out. Participate in the discussion. Um, I think us interacting on that kind of forum is very good for us to kind of um, get an individual feel as to what we feel about certain things. And if you need help with, with anything regarding your um, journey or products or whatever, over on my Facebook page is definitely a great way to kind of get an immediate response regarding certain things so go check out that video it's actually a very good video um i did not mean to be slanderous in there i actually wasn't but it i just thought i'd put it up because it was so pertinent to what the um my subscriber had asked me um through a personal message and i addressed it um through uh her like I addressed it through a personal message to her but I told her I put the video up for um, you all to see and um, get some candid feelings about how I felt about that and I just have to clarify that we although we do go to home based breeders some of the times um, some of them are pretty good and I must say the one that I am going to right now I'm extremely happy with I'm ex very happy ecstatic about the level of service about her interactions with me and um 
yeah, sometimes concessions have to be made in that regard going to a home base breeder, but for the most part, I um they are not all bad or unprofessional. So, um yeah. So, yeah, my point is go over to Facebook because y'all you're missing out. If you don't go over there, you're missing out on my daily antics, okay? If not for anything else, go over there and um just be a part of the family here, okay? Take care, guys, and I will see y'all soon. Hey Bye. Guys, it's been the 24. I just um, decided to do a little bit of a little um, talk about something, and I'm going to switch it on to the videos that I did previously um, just to make a thing of it. Hopefully, I won't be rambling along. Now, my thing is, I think as natural as naturals and if we see somebody who or we know people relatives friends that are just um, embarking on their natural journey we should be in a position to help um, whether it be by giving advice um, you don't have to be on YouTube to do that you can do it in your own personal settings and I have a girlfriend um, and she lives in Vancouver hi Michelle um, yeah, so the thing is, Michelle has gone on her, started to go natural. She's probably, she's natural already, but she mostly wears like wigs and stuff, protective styles. Now, um, she had mentioned to me when we were conversing on Facebook that she was going to order some samples from Miss Jessie. And I told her, don't bother, I'll just send her some samples myself. Now, I mean, these are things, I'm not saying this to say I'm doing this for her, but at the same time, she was going to purchase them. And in that case, I felt the need to step in and say, you know, and I'll mail you some samples, and um, so you don't have to waste your money. And whether, and then from there on, if you do like them, then you'll know exactly how to, um, if you want to order the items or not. So I say that by saying, when we're in a position to help as true natural sisters, we should be able to help each other out. And we've been going back and forth for a long time. We used to go to high school together, and I felt the need to kind of put her under my wings when she needed help for her natural hair. If she had questions, she would ask me and even referred her to my channel here. So as natural sisters, I'm just saying we should really help out each other by, I mean, assisting in any way we can and um, I just thought it just was a waste for her to be ordering stuff online and I had you know I have products so I picked up some containers so girl your stuff is coming I'm just getting some containers together to get to send them and I was going to email you today but I don't know what happened so anyway I um, got some stuff together I'm going to be sending some more but I got these containers three in a pack from the dollar store and they are um, just snap lock packages things I think I'm gonna put some um, what do you call it saran wrap on top just to secure it because it's going all the way over to Vancouver and that's very far from here so I got these and I pretty much labeled them this is the Miss Jessie's curly pudding I'm sending this for her this is some Donna Marie lock and twist pudding and I labeled them you don't have to go through all of this, but I'm kind of, you know, that way. And I need I need to kind of present this properly so it's clearly marked and stuff. So I used my little thingy, my labeler, and made labels for them. Um, I This is some silk, um, it's Jessie's silk, what's that? Silkling, stretch silkling cream. That's it. So I'm going to put some other things together for her. But I just did this part of the video to say, whenever we can, we need to help each other out. Support each other in any way we can. Like, there's just no point in me having her waste her money, and I have stuff here. So I'm going to send her as many things as I can. And, um, yeah, just assist wherever you can, guys. And, um, yeah, that's all, guys. It may seem like like a non-entity kind of part here but I just wanted to add that and for us to keep that in mind um, we don't have to be an expert at this nobody is I'm definitely not I'm still learning along the way every day I need well I learn new things um, people have different ways of doing things and I like to observe that but um, help you know wherever you can okay guys take care bye